From today's TMJ4, this is breaking news now. That breaking news, firefighters keeping an eye out for any flare-ups after a salvage yard fire very close to Mitchell Airport. That fire started just before the noon hour. Thick smoke could be seen for miles of stopped traffic on the airport spur. Also forced an MCTS bus to detour. And Cody Holyoke is live on the scene. And he's, telling, he's, he's there to tell us what is happening right now. What's the status of the fire, Cody? Well, Steve and Courtney, there's certainly a lot less smoke of that, that thick, billowing, uh, poisonous smoke than there was earlier. I'll step out of the way. We are at 13th and Ramsey, just about half a block from Roz's Auto Salvage. You see it across the street there. Firefighters still here on the scene, though we have seen a couple of engines peel off. They're tending to hot spots inside that building. The blaze is under control, they say, but the building is just severely damaged. And, you know, earlier, a few hours ago, you could see that smoke for miles. Workers inside evacuated to the building. I'm told witnesses heard a number of pops and explosions. They uh, shut down part of the airport spur uh, because of uh, just the, th like I said, that thick black smoke even alerted the FAA as to what was going on. Uh, as firefighters were here, they, they came initially for the call of a gas leak, and I'm told that blaze may have started near a propane or a gas tank. I was able to talk to a man who was actually inside today when uh, folks were rushed to the exits. Uh, when I walked out, uh, originally I looked into the building that was on fire and you could see the fire in the back of the building. And uh, at that time we were just getting people back and uh, getting them away from the building because there's flammables. So um, after that, everybody just got away from there and got out and waited for the fire department to show up. And the fire department right now, you can see another engine uh, looks like they're leaving the scene at this point. Most of 13th Street is open except for this block uh, between uh, uh, just uh, north of Ramsey Avenue here. Uh, firefighters going to be here a while because they can't really get inside that building. You talk about an auto salvage yard and the buildings there. You, you deal with a lot of flammable materials, oil, transmissions fluid, uh, propane, gasoline. So they're going to be uh, attacking this from the outside. Uh, you have a lot of heavy transmission and engine parts as well so they don't want to get anybody uh, anybody hurt trying to battle this blaze. Firefighters uh, we just heard from Assistant Chief Dan Lipsky a little while ago should be here for another hour or an hour and a half tending to those hot spots. Uh, thankfully though uh, throughout all of this with all the smoke and uh, and the flames and the explosions that uh, we heard no one was hurt so uh, it uh, the best case scenario I guess for this fire uh, has come to fruition. Steve, Courtney? It's like Cody, the buses are running. Yeah again. they are running through that area. This could have been much worse and we heard the Assistant Chief say that if not for for that quick response, they, uh, I think we lost Cody. I'm not so, hearing Cody. Are you there? Hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> did you, I'm I sorry, did you hear my uh, question? <laughs> you know what, the, Cody, thanks. I'm the just. employees here. All right, the employees here, I'm just going to say that they do have a fire response. Uh, and we talked to Jesse Torres, who's that uh, glass contractor, and uh, he, he told me, you know, they yelled fire stations. Uh, so they, they go to this spot in the building where they have fire extinguishers and that sort of thing. And then they realize, hey, this is out of control. We need to evacuate the building immediately. Yeah, and quick response by the firefighters to get that under control. Cody uh, reporting live for us, South Milwaukee this afternoon. Cody Holyoke, thank you. Now, here is what we know about this facility, Roz Auto salvage according to the websites family owned and operated established in 1959 they've got 13 acres of salvage cars on this property which makes it the largest automotive recycler in milwaukee which means there's a lot of stuff on that property that can burn and getting some pictures of all of this through our i contribute aaron sent in this one look at that smoke the thick black smoke from the fire david carlson sending a picture from the road uh, more of a vantage point of just, just how far reaching that smoke was and the distance from which you could see it. And in this picture, some flames coming out of the salvage yard, actually. If you have any pictures of this or of anything else that we're covering, um, breaking news, send them to I contribute at TMJ4.com.